Hi guppies! Hello and welcome. Today we're gonna make maracas for Israel's birthday. Yay! The country of Israel is turning 72. I know my hat is backwards. Seven, two. <laughs> Maybe I should write it, try and write it backwards, huh? So today we're going to make maracas. Now I have a few different things that you can make maracas with. I have my, oh, where'd my water bottle go? So will you go find me my water bottle? I left it somewhere. Empty water bottle in the kitchen maybe. I have a paper towel roll and I have a brown paper bag and then I have a water bottle, just an empty water bottle. So, oh here it comes. <laughs> Thank you. So here are an empty water bottle. Hi teacher Rachel. We're gonna make maracas for our parade tomorrow when we're zooming. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to decorate is my brown paper bag. So this you can use. I have crayons. I got out all my blue and white crayons that I had. So I have some different color blues and a white. I also pre-cut some triangles so that we can make um, the Star of David, make the Jewish star on our project. So I cut some blue and some white triangles. Triangles have three corners and three sides. One, two, three. I also then just kept some of the pieces of scrap paper that I had cut the triangles out of so that I could glue them on um, onto your paper. And I also pre-cut this piece of paper to fit my toilet toilet paper roll so that I could cover my toilet paper roll like this okay so what we're gonna do is start with decorating our brown paper bag so the first thing you can do guppies is you can just color anything you want on there using blue and white if you want or any colors that you want so I'm gonna draw a big triangle like this and then I'm gonna draw another triangle upside down on my bag like this Wow if you have some paint you could do some finger painting on here or some brushing with paint. I'm just going to use crayons today and I'm going to use my glue stick and I'm going to glue on this piece of paper that has some triangles. Rub my glue on, take my paper and put it on. Looks almost like a crown, almost like my hat, my birthday hat for Israel's birthday. And then maybe I'll make some triangle Jewish stars. I put one triangle on. And then I'll take another one and put some glue on. And I put the triangle on top of the other triangle, but like upside down. See how it makes a star? just like the star on the Israeli flag. <gasps> this is kind of starting to look like the Israeli flag. I could even do the Israeli flag on the other side if I wanted. So all I would have to do would be to cut two strips. Maybe your siblings or your mom or your dad could help you cut two strips. Also parents, it makes it a little easier for your children when they're cutting. If you do cut paper into strips and you have child sized scissors, because it's a lot easier for them to <gasps> snip a whole piece off. If I'm holding this big piece of paper, it's harder. So sometimes I'll just get snips like this, which is also great cutting too, but it's, it's more um, exciting for the, 
for the student if they can actually cut off pieces. And then they could glue on those pieces onto their project as well. So on the back, maybe we'll make a little Israeli flag. So I need two stripes, one on the top of my bag, and then one on the bottom, like this. And then on the inside, we would put the Jewish star. So maybe what I'll do is make a big triangle. Make two big triangles like this. Ooh, a little too big. Need it a little smaller. It's okay. Can always adjust for the size that you need. Oh, we have a firefighter here. Hello, firefighter Noah. Hey. Would you like to say hello to the guppies? Yeah. <laughs> this is firefighter Noah. Hey guys, how you doing? <laughs> like the shave head? <laughs> Yeah, so what are you doing to stay safe, Firefighter Noah? Making sure I wash my hands, making sure I keep my distancing from people, as well as staying home, you know, making sure I social distance, because it's a really important thing that we need to do. Excellent. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for, for all me. your efforts. Bye, guys. Bye. We appreciate it. Okay. I am going to add this triangle on. Boy, that was a nice special surprise. Hey, wait, we have a Noah in our class who wants to be a firefighter. Okay, so here we go. We have our two stars. I mean, our two triangles put together to make our star. So that's one way that you can decorate your bag. I'm going to show you after what we're going to put inside. Now we can decorate our paper towel or toilet paper roll which I think I actually cut up my pre-cut one, so I'm just gonna measure here a little bit. Make sure that it's the right size. And then I'll just roll it on and get some tape and tape it. Ta-da! Then, I'm going to, this is fun too because you can trace. Tracing is always fun. I'm going to put my paper towel roll down onto my paper. And I'm going to trace around my paper towel roll. And then I'm going to cut out two circles to place on the ends of my paper towel roll. Again, I'm using blue and white for Israel's birthday. And I'm going to tape that on. So that whatever I put inside to make noise will not come out. And whatever we put inside, we're gonna make sure we do not put in our mouths, right? Because it's gonna be small enough to fit in here. Okay, so I taped up the whole one end. I also have some stickers. And I thought I would find some nice blue and white stickers. Do you see any blue and white stickers on here? Oh, that's right. The earth. The earth is blue and white. We've been celebrating the earth too because it was just Earth Day. I'm going to put my earth sticker on my maraca because it's blue and white. Do we see any other blue and white stickers? Right. This one that looks like a planet. Maybe the moon looks blue and white. What shape are these, guppies? Right, circles. 
Do you see any other circles around here? Hmm, what else looks like a circle? You're right, the balloons behind me are circles. The bottom of my maraca toilet paper is a circle. Lots of circles. Okay, so we have some stickers on. Should we do one more blue and white sticker? Ooh, maybe the space shuttle one here. That's a good one. There we go. We'll add that on. And then maybe even add some of these yellow stars. Maybe I'll add that onto my paper bag here, right in the middle. Maybe on this side over here. Add the star. Okay. So then we have that, we have that. And then the last one is the water bottle that you could make into a maraca as well. So you could also glue on things onto the water bottle, or you could use stickers on the water bottle. So we have, we'll have three different ideas. Maybe I'll just tape some blue onto the water bottle. Like that, like a little stripe. And maybe I'll put a triangle on here too. Just taping it all on. Remember when we made groggers out of water bottles? You could also bring your grogger if you still have it. I saw Levi had his today. And then maybe I'll put this astronaut, blue and white astronaut, onto my water bottle as well. There we go. And a yellow star sticker. <laughs> okay, so now we have three different ways to make maracas. And I'm going to show you three, one, two, three, most of you are three now, three different ways um, or objects or things that I just found in my kitchen that I can use to add to my water bottle. You could go on a nature hunt and find some sand or some little pebbles. Um, I found this container of Cheerios that I thought sounded pretty neat. And I found a bag of pistachios that I thought sounded pretty cool. And I also found a bag of rice. So I'm going to put a different sound into each one of my different maraca objects here. So I have a scooper. And I'm thinking... Maybe let's do the water bottle with some rice. So I'm going to get my rice. And I have my little scooper here. It's a little measuring scooper. It's a quarter cup, one-fourth cup of rice. And I'm just going to put my hand around the top like this so that when I pour the rice in, Try to get as much in there without spilling, although I am spilling a little bit. It's okay. Let's do the best I can. If you had a funnel, that would help too, but I don't have a funnel. So, oh, you know, you can always do a funnel with a piece of paper too. You kind of go like this with the paper, and then you pour it in. It's almost the same thing I'm doing with my hand. Add our rice, put that in there. And then we always wanna make sure that we tape up the top of the water bottle, just so that whatever you put in there, it's not easy to get it out. So we'll tape that. And let's hear how it sounds. Wow, I like that sound. That would be a fun marching instrument. Okay, so there's one. 
Now, what should we put into our paper towel roll? Hmm, should we do the pistachios? Hi, golly. Or the Cheerios? What do you think? Mmm, okay, let's put the Cheerios in to... Now, let's put the... Let's put some of the pistachios in our paper towel hole. So I'm going to open the pistachios. I'm going to get my scooper. I'm going to scoop them. This is what they look like. They have a hard shell, so I thought that would make a pretty cool little sound. And I'm going to put them in. If you want, you could even count how many you're putting in. Let's see how many we're putting in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15 pistachios went into our paper towel or toilet paper holder. And then I'm going to tape on the top so they don't come out. We are getting ready for Israel's birthday and for our celebration tomorrow. We're going to march and sing, and we're going to do our yoga pose of an airplane and pretend, hi, Ashley, oh that we are on our way to Israel. I wonder if we'll see the Kotel wall when we're flying over. All right, here it is, guppies. So here is our blue and white toilet paper maraca. I like that sound too. It's not too loud. Let's see. This one's a little deeper. This one's a little like, a little louder, a little high pitched more. Okay, so we have one, two, and our third last one is our bag that we made. And into the bag, we are going to add our Cheerios. Let's get our Cheerios here. We'll take a scoop of Cheerios. How many scoops should we do? Three? Okay, let's do one. Two. And three. Now, when you're all done with this project, um, instead of just throwing it away, you could like feed the birds with your old stale Cheerios. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tape the top of this box, this bag shut so that nothing will come out when we're shaking it. Tape it on up. go. That should be good. Ooh, that might be my favorite sound. Pretty loud, too. And look, I could carry it by the handle. Bring it with me when I'm marching. So I could carry my bag, and then I could carry my flag when we're marching tomorrow during our Zoom call. So we have three different ways to make a maraca. The first one we made out of a water bottle with rice. Second one we made out of a toilet paper roll with some stickers and some pistachios. And the third one we made from a brown paper bag and stickers and some different um, shapes we cut out, and Cheerios. See how all of them sound together. We can shake them fast, and we can 
and shake them slow. And fast. And slow. Well, I sure did have fun getting ready for Israel's birthday with you guys. And I'm looking forward to celebrating tomorrow so we could sing a quick happy birthday. Yom Aledet Sameh. Yom Aledet Sameh. Yom Aledet Sameh. Yom Aledet Sameh. Happy birthday, Israel! 72! Yay! Bye, guys. Thanks for joining me on this live Zoom. Love you guys. No. Bye. No. I'm waving back. <laughs>